today we have gathered here to do the puja to Sadashiva. The one which is reflected within us is the Shiva, uh, which is the pure spirit. This pure spirit within us is the reflection of God Almighty, Sadashiva. It's like the sun that falls in the water and gives a clear reflection, or else it falls on the stone, it doesn't give any reflection at all. If you have, say, the mirror, the sun will not only fall on the mirror, but will reflect back its light. In the same way, in the human beings, the reflection of God Almighty is expressed in the way your Personality is. If your Personality is clean and clear, innocent, then the reflection could be like a mirror. Thus the saintly people, they reflect God Almighty in the proper manner, in the sense that their own identification with wrong things is no more. When there is no such identification and when a person is absolutely the pure spirit, then the reflection of God reflects into others. Luckily, you all have got your Self-realization. That means the reflection of God my Almighty is already working into your attention. The attention is enlightened by the power of the Spirit. The power of the Spirit is that it is a reflection. That means the reflection is never identified with the mirror or with the water. It is there till the sun shines. And when there is no sun, there is no reflection. So when you are in Sahaja Yoga, you have cleansed out yourself. Your Kundalini has also cleansed you. And now you are pure Personalities. That's why this reflection is clearer and clearer, and people see it. See it on your face, they see it in your body, they see it in your work, in your behaviour, in every way. It is difficult for people to really be believe in themselves that they could be the reflection of God Almighty. They have some sort of a uh, complexes about themselves, I think, that they cannot understand how they have suddenly become the reflection of God Almighty. But they have a capacity and they can become the reflection 
of God Almighty, for which they have to have faith in themselves, faith in their ascent, to believe that we have become that. The confidence in Sahaja Yoga is very important. Without the full confidence, you cannot achieve your ascent that you have seen. Even in my lectures I have to tell them that we have to have full self-confidence. But confidence doesn't mean by any chance your ego, your aggressiveness. If you are confident, you are least aggressive. There is a story, a Chinese story, very interesting one, that one king wanted his cocks to win in the race they have about the cock fighting. So somebody said that there is a saint, if you can take your cocks to him, he'll make them so strong that they will definitely win this race. So he took his two cocks and gave it to the saint and he said, I want you to give them all the strength uh, to fight this race. After one month the king came and took these two cocks and put them in the arena where there were many other cocks also. So the cocks started fighting and attacking these two cocks. But these two cocks were just standing very patiently, absolutely calm and quiet. Any kind of attack they were just looking at it as a fun. And all the cocks got tired and they ran away from the arena and that's how these two cocks won the game. This is what it is for us to understand, that for a person who is detached, he can never be attacked. We are attacked by so many identifications we have. Firstly, our family, then our country, then our religion, then all kinds of things, racialism, all these identifications really make us weak because they attack us all the time and put confusion into the minds of Sahaja Yogis, I have seen. The reason is you must have confidence in Sahaja Yoga and confidence in yourself that you are on the right path and that you are now saved and nobody can attack you because you are the complete protection of the Divine. People may follow any religion, they may follow any guru, they may follow anything, but they have fear all the time that will be attacked. And they are afraid to say things which they should say. They have no discretion even to know what is to be said. With the proper understanding that you are the pure Spirit, if you believe in that, then you will be surprised that you will be very confident about what you are doing. In that way we can say that we have also another great advantage, is that we are in the collective. We can find out in the collective how are we behaving, what is the reaction in the collective. In the collective, it's a person who is very subtle. He need not talk too much, he need not say much, he could stand like the cocks I told you about, but his depth can be felt. You can feel a person of that caliber, that he is such a deep person, that he doesn't want to aggress, he feels protected within himself. So this protection we have to feel, not mentally but within ourselves. And once you have that gravity, that feeling, nobody can attack. The first achievement shows 
that from inside they start getting detached. Now detachment is not mental, it's not mental, it is not that we have to take uh, to some sort of a sannyasa or we have to go to Himalayas, give up our families and all. But the detachment is within oneself. When that detachment starts working, the first sign is that we become joyous, we become happy. Now if you ask anyone, why are you unhappy? He'll talk about his wife, maybe his house, maybe his children, maybe his country, maybe society, whatever it is. So he gets absolutely upset or maybe very unhappy to see things happening around him. Now he is a realized soul, this unhappiness is not going to help. What is needed is now to know that you can correct all these ills of the society, of the family, of the whole country by transforming others, not by feeling bad. But while doing that, the main thing that you should have is a complete detachment. I was amazed when I uh, first started Sahaja Yoga how people told me about their own countrymen, country fellows. I was amazed how they told me about their own religions, how wrong things they are doing. I didn't know so much as they told me and I thought that this is a detachment that has come that they can see clearly what's wrong, what's wrong with my society, with uh, my people, with my relations, with my family, with my country, with the whole world. But it's only possible if you are not identified to any one of them. Otherwise you will never see the defects, you will never see what's wrong with that person. You can never even see the chakras which are catching. So the first thing that should happen is detachment. Now how to achieve detachment is the point. Many people ask me, Mother, how do you get detached? Because I'm not attached, you see, so I'm already detached, I don't know how to do that way. But for you people, I would say, to understand yourself, you should introspect. Try to find out. To what thing am I attached? Why am I miserable? For whom am I worried? Why should I worry? 